Hello, Brian Myers here from Winning Solutions with another .NET Nuke tutorial for you. Today we're going to cover how you can add a Twitter feed to your .NET Nuke website. I've already logged in here to our Twitter account and the first thing we're going to want to do is come up here and click on the little gear that they have. Uh, then we'll go to the edit profile option and over here on the left we get another couple of options. What we want to look at is this widget option. We're going to go up here and create a new widget and Twitter is nice enough to give us this nice preview of the widget that we're building. It also has a, a follow at WSI Tech, which is our Twitter handle, um, and that's who our username that we want to actually be following. So we'll look at these other options. You can change the height. I kind of like the height that we've got here. You can also change the theme. There's a light and dark theme. Dark theme is, uh, you know, really dark. I'm going to go ahead and go with the light theme. I think that matches our website a little bit better. Then you also have the ability to change the link color um, by selecting a color or entering a hex value. I actually know the hex value for our links on our website, so I'm going to just manually enter that. We'll click Done. And then they also want to know which domain you're going to be put to putting this on. We're putting it on our development DNN site, so I'm going to put in that domain here. And then click Create Widget. After you've, been, after you've clicked that button, you'll see that uh, now we have some code that appears underneath our preview of our Twitter feed. So you can either right-click and copy, or you can hit Control plus C, and that'll get that copied to the clipboard. We're actually done with uh, using Twitter for, for right now, so we'll go over to our development website here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a module, the trusty HTML module, and we're going to give it a title of Twitter. We're going to add it to the right pane at the bottom. And there you see we have our HTML uh, module sitting there. So we're going to go to Manage, Edit Content. We're going to go into the HTML view. We're going to delete the existing text and paste our text from the uh, Twitter widget. Um, you can either do that by right-clicking and selecting Paste, or you can press Control plus V. Then we'll go down here and click Save. And it looks like I actually didn't paste that in there right, so we'll go back here to Edit Content. And I think I ran into this before where what we actually need to do is change over to being using a basic text box. Uh, sometimes uh, .NET Nuke tries to prevent the inclusion of JavaScripts, and you'll see here if I paste again, the script got removed, but uh, if we switch over to the basic text box, then that shouldn't happen. So let's go ahead and click Save now, and there we go. We've got our Twitter feed. Um, so just remember that you'll want to, when you're editing the content, you want to make sure that you switch to basic text box mode so it doesn't delete this, this script, which actually makes the Twitter feed work. That concludes the uh, tutorial for today. Please leave a comment if you have other tutorial ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash WSI Tech. Thanks.